not on. <laughs> it almost never happens, but this time I forgot to turn it on before I turned on the stream. Uh, but regardless, you know how it is. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The time has come for me to play Crawl once again, and so I shall do precisely that. I was uh, sleeping on the character, I was thinking about it, and I think the reason why I'm taking so much damage from things that hurt um, is because... Mm, I'm not using a shield. Yeah, I'm not using a shield. If I had a shield, this character would be what you would expect it to be, because it is very powerful already, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do today is turn on shields, go pick up that kite shield, and uh, get 15 shields, so I don't just explode randomly from melee things. Hello, Calicometer and Awot, good to see you two around, thank you for stopping by. Mm. So yeah, we're going to be doing that with this character. Uh, I need a shield, and after I get a shield, the character should be much more powerful, like the character's power should be better reflected, because it is a very powerful character, but it is pretty much not using a shield. Uh, so it is exactly the same th issue that I have with all those characters that, uh, that I had a couple of weeks ago, maybe like a month or two ago, um, that were using two-handers, but didn't have a shield, obviously, because two-hander. Uh, and they did a lot of damage, but they also kind of exploded. And this character has pretty much that same issue. Uh, so that's why I need a shield. Mm, let me just put this on the Discord. Okie dokie. That is done. Um, now we shall go right around here and get out of here and let's... Uh, should I transfer? I think that has the new Jiva stuff. Well, it doesn't matter for this character, but, but that's probably what it is and nothing more. Um, it's not loading, as is often the case. Still not loading, okay. Nope. Let's see if it takes me four attempts this time. Yeah, four attempts. Yeah, I don't know why that happens, but it is quite aggravating indeed. Um, so yeah, I should turn those off and I should just be training shields until 15. And that will make my character way better than what it currently is. And it is already a pretty good character, let's be completely fair. I have the elemental staff, it's just that I can have the elemental staff and actual pretty good defenses with the shield. Mm. Okay, I don't think I care about any of those things. No, I mean, I have a bunch of shops and trash like that in this game. I don't particularly care about them yet, um, but later on when I don't have any anything else to buy and a lot of money, I will definitely be going back and buying them all uh, for, you know, the things that I care about. Um, okay, I probably should be flame waving if I cannot, uh, if I'm gonna be fumbling attacks, better to flame wave instead. Not only does it create steam, it also cannot miss, so it is way more damage. Um, plus two boots. Those could be boots of um, rampaging or stealth. I don't think I care. Uh, they're probably gonna be plus one boots, but let's let's check them out. Yeah, rampaging. They're only plus zero. I don't particularly value rampaging too much. I'm not a fan of it. Um, so I'm gonna leave them on the floor. But I think it was well worth checking them out. Okay, uh, this character has a lot of um, a lot of regen, so we don't particularly care about getting barfed and um, things of that kind. Manual of staves, well, that would have been useful um, before. I think it's still rather useful. Meter Berserker, ton of armor class, weak to fire. Hey, look at that, weak to fire. I think we might be able to kill that guy. Yeah, I'll come back for that later because that guy does hit for 50 um, and only 39 armor class is not enough in my opinion I, I do need to complement that with something else 
Um, as I was saying at the very start of the stream, I don't feel particularly confident about the character as it is right now. It will be better later on, or it can be better uh, very easily. Brand weapon. I don't think I care about that. We shall leave it on the floor. Mm, so many shops, not many... Not many things that I'm interested in, in these shops. Um, so yeah, this character has to leave bolts because I was having a bad time in bolts with this character. Uh, so here we are in the training arc in shoals, just killing things, uh, waiting for... Ooh, this is like the best book in the game, right? Okay, that completely changes the character. The fact that we got this book, uh, I, of course, I'm going to buy it. Well, I'm probably not going to buy it immediately, but I will keep it very much in mind because that has refrigeration and that has ignition. Uh, I can see myself casting refrigeration in plate. It will be quite an endeavor. It will be a big experience investment, uh, but I could do it, right? Um what I also want is Orb of Destruction. I do not have that just yet. But yeah, that's something that I uh, will definitely keep in mind for the future of this character. Mm, I need something to kill Orbs of Fire. Oh, there was Nicola. I have resistance to electricity, but Nicola is still quite a fearsome foe. Regardless of your resistance, Chain Lightning got uh, massively buffed, and Nicola, in turn, also got massively buffed. We have to keep that in mind. Um, oh, okay. You killed the Kraken. Alrighty, Nicola is nearby. Mm, so. Um, Three dice of 45, uh, that's usual for Chain Lightning. Hmm. We are gonna walk away. Oh, what is going on? I, I typo uh, a lot for a second there. Break line of sight, go for File of Lots to prevent Nicola from casting Chain Lightning, and then go for Flame Wave. And uh, Flame Wave is pretty good, in my opinion, for, for dealing with Nicola um, while, while he's waterlocked. The Steam deals a lot of damage, the Flame Wave deals a lot of damage. There was no need for me to do anything too fancy um, to Nicola other than uh, File of Lots and Flame Wave. Yep. Now, Nicola always has globes and a cloak, but I am well set off in those apartments, I think. Do I? Ah, yeah, I do. I have everything that I could possibly want uh, when it comes to those things. Ooh, this is getting kind of annoying. Um, these guys that make me afraid and uh, this siren that makes me mesmerized. Yeah, now I can't move pretty much. Well, I'm very close to not being able to move. And the avatar just walks away uh, because that's what it does. Okay, we killed the um, we killed the avatar, and now we break off the fear, walking into the clouds of steam. Steam is opaque, and you cannot be afraid of something that you cannot see in this game. Uh, at least when it comes to the fear status effect, I know that I can definitely be afraid as a player of certain monsters that may or may not be on the screen at the moment. Um, <laughs> okay, that, is that Polyphemus or just like normal dream sheep? No, regardless, they are not nearly as dangerous as they would be in in Lair before. Yeah, we're kind of over leveled for this place. That is not to say that we can we can we're like you know unbeatable. As I mentioned, I am lacking a shield and the lack of a of a true shield. I mean, because I have eight shield from a buckler. But I need more than that um, from a kite shield. It is like super noticeable, even with the regen. Flame Wave looks fun. It is so good. If you have not played a Flame Wave character, I greatly recommend you to do precisely that. Um, 
I would recommend uh, Fire Elementalist of Behumeth. The species doesn't particularly matter too much, but um, but yeah, Fire Elementalist, Fire Elementalist of Behumeth is gonna be um, what you wanna what you wanna try. Hmm, okay, I was casting um, Poisonous Vapors and Ignite Poison, and it didn't kill the Alligator Snapping Turtle. But yeah. When I have them at more power, um, do I have them already at maximum power, actually? Because they're low level. Uh, well, Ignite Poison is only 63%. Uh, I don't have a lot of skill in those spells, so that would be why. But yeah, later on it's going to be way better. Um, way more powerful. It's such a, such a good combination of spells. Um, and um, theoretically, with the things that I already have, I could go through the game. Um, I would have severe issues with some enemies, um, like the enemies that are immune to poison or fire resistant. Uh, specifically, Orbs of Fire would be absolutely terrible, and that's why I want um, Orb of Destruction, because Orb of Destruction is an excellent spell for dealing with Orbs of Fire. Okay. Mm, there we go. That went well. Um, that is not what I want. Close because it's conjurations, but I really do uh, want some orb of destruction. Better to step away from the water when dealing with a water nymph. Um, they have water strike, and that is a really bad thing to be in the receiving end of. Yep, it doesn't miss and it deals a ton of damage. It's my targeted. Oh no. Well, I guess this should be fine because now now that it's next to me, I can just like flame wave it. Mm, okay. Annette, thank you for that, Mr. Merfolk. Blink away. I wonder if the net is still there. Oh, so you can blink away a... Uh, from from nets that enemies throw at you in order to retain the net. That's um, something that I never thought of. Um, pretty sweet. I think it would just be nice if the nets would just like not be destroyed when an enemy uses them against you. But I guess I could say the same about uh, pretty much all consumables. Um, Leoglotl. I'm not a fan of Leoglotl. Uh, earlier with this character we got banished and this is... A green reminder of those dark times when I got banished. Uh, at least he is not resistant to fire, so we might be able to get something done here. Uh, excuse me. This Wind Drake is stuck in airstrike mode. Look at that. But the airstrike is like so negligible. Look at those beautiful airstrike hits. They barely do anything. Um, so, I could use Fog here. Um, I think I should use Attraction. Okay, looking pretty good. Mm, okay, if Mnioglotl hurts me, or hits me now, this would be kind of bad. But I don't know what Leoglothal summoned. The, uh, he didn't seem to summon anything. There was an Echosec right at the end, but it didn't malmutate me, so we're good. There we go. Don't be misled by that. I am high level. Leoglothal is very threatening if you if you encounter him. Uh, pretty much on your first room branch. Um, another book of the un unrestrained Anna and Analex. Was that, was that what it is? Analex. Okay, gonna have to Google that. Mm. Hmm. I find it pretty interesting how Flame Wave is so good at killing all these war nymphs. In general, Fire Magic is amazing here. Oh wow, uh, I can't believe this. I find it pretty surprising because. We went through so much of the game with a bunch of shops, but no bookshops, and I've already found like three bookshops here. Um, still no Orb of Destruction, however. 
which is very unfortunate because it's a spell that I want. I, I don't particularly care about a lot of these other spells. I guess we got Toxic Radiance and I, I would definitely be very excited for that for the rest of the game. I think um, it is an amazing thing to have, but um, I don't know. Cloak of Stealth, it is better than my current cloak, so I'm gonna replace it. Theoretically better, I guess. I don't particularly care too much about stealth, and it's not like I'm gonna be getting a lot of stealth being uh, a blade character. Yeah, take a look at that. I have two stealth items, and I still have zero stealth because I'm wearing plate, and I have zero stealth skill. Mm. So yeah, obviously I am looking forward to replacing that with um, Cloak of Preservation, Cloak of Willpower, um, whatever it is. For practical purposes it is just a plus two cloak, like the one that I just took off. So yeah, and this character is not only like a, um, like a flame wave character, it also has pretty decent melee. The Elemental Staff is a very powerful melee weapon. And before it I was using a plus 10 scimitar, but I got it from an acquirement, from my first acquirement in this game. Very for, very um, funnily, all the options in that acquirement were pretty beast. I think it was um, the Warlock's Mirror, which I am not particularly too much of a fan of, uh, because I don't like um, the fact that it doesn't really give you a lot of shield. Um, there's also um, there was also a plus ten triple sword or something like absolutely insane, and I didn't grab it. And um, and obviously the money and the elemental staff. I grabbed the elemental staff. Okay, using the steam from flame wave to uh, reveal less sheep to make them not uh, put me to sleep. That is kind of important. Okay, you are annoying, and I have a Wand of Flame, so let's use it. Yeah, that's the only unfortunate thing about uh, Flame Wave. The fact that if a monster is not too close to you, it doesn't really do a lot. But monsters that are not close to you are uh, like the exception. Way more of the exception than the rule in this game. Hmm... I'm gonna try to acid the snapping turtle. Berry poison slow covered in acid. Poisonous vapors. Ignite poison. Mm, that barely dealt any damage. Okay, I think we can finish it off by meleeing it. There we go. Now that I have um, toxic radiance, I could do that, but with toxic radiance. But I really want to get my shield before doing anything um, other than than that, you know? I, I need my shield. That is, in my opinion, the most important thing to get. And after that, I, I'm probably going to get Toxic Radiance and maybe Refrigeration. Maybe. There's no guarantee. I could also get Ignition. Um, but yeah, it is very unlikely that I get the two of them, even though I definitely uh, like them a lot. It's just like a matter of aptitudes. Minus one aptitude is um, a bit too much to be training for. Or like, um, rather, getting level sevens and level eights is a bit too difficult for a character that has only like minus one aptitudes on everything. And minus two spell casting, I guess we have to keep that in mind. Mm, minus two spell casting. Okay, a nice thing about uh, generating so much steam is that when fighting monsters that place clouds on top of you, you can just step on the steam, and if you have one people of fire resistance, the steam shouldn't hurt, it should be grayed out altogether, um, and um, it doesn't hurt you, and it does prevent you from taking damage, so pretty good thing in general. Uh, Hailstorm, yeah, Hailstorm. Oh, did I miscast Hailstorm? What's my success chance with it? 7%. Same as Flame Wave. Okay, I guess I just got unlucky. We try it again and it dies. Another jab in the Better retreat towards um, here, I guess. Wait a couple of turns. Walk towards them. And yeah, what I wanted to do was lure them towards the um, towards these, this pool of water so I could um, steam them. Steam hams. I guess a steam from Merfolk cities. 
Mm, okay, we don't care about the Japs. We are not that kind of character. And uh, it is very funny because my last win was like the Ghoul, right? And the Ghoul didn't get a lot of Silver Javelins. It, did, it didn't even get uh, Shoals. I would have been very excited for it, but it just didn't happen. Okay, Mr. Kraken, you are very easy to kill, actually. I'm just gonna cast Flame Wave, and Flame Wave will kill you. Is that it? Oh, no, I think the Kraken is just running away. Um, uh, Kraken versus Fire Elemental, this is a very bad matchup for the Kraken. Because of what I uh, already exemplified. That's a pretty good uh, pair of boots. Amazing pair of boots, even. I do lose one pip of... Uh, or one armor class, but I gain uh, my third pip of cold resistance. After I take off the buckler, which I will do almost immediately. Uh, and I also gain four dexterity, so... Eh, not bad, not bad. Also, I think dexterity helps with, with uh, your shield stats. I think shield only go, goes off of dexterity now. I wonder if it's viable for you to go pure dexterity and an evasion shields and like forsake getting heavy armor. I'm gonna have to try that with a merfolk sometime soon. Mm. I should probably drop the enchant weapon. Maybe also the enchant armor, um, because I'm wearing very highly enchanted armor already. Um, so we're gonna do just that. Uh, Ring of Ice, I don't care about it. We shall leave it right on the floor. Okay, you know, these Javelineers are barely hurting me. Uh, it is kind of surprising, because normally they deal a ton of damage, but not to this character somehow. I guess I don't have mutations. Um, And um, I guess the 38 armor class is doing something there. I don't know. I've had characters with more armor class get decimated by javelineers in like three jabs. So shield. Um, I could use the buckler of resistance, but I need a better shield. And the better shield is going to be that kite shield of Tartarus that Asterion was using. Uh, oh, a sorcerer survived my rampage through elf. We shall get rid of it um, immediately. There we go, easy peasy. Now give me that. Let me put it on. Goodbye, Buckler. And uh, we have 13 shield. It's It should be slightly better. We lose regen. I think now I only have one source of regen. Yeah. Um, but I like... Um, oh, wait a second. I think I have way too much willpower. Um, yeah, perks of being a, a demigod at 20 uh, experience level, you have 80 willpower, just base, and um, you also have another 80, or I also have another 80 from my gear, so that's uh, 160 willpower. I could theoretically take off a ring of willpower uh, to go only to 120 willpower, and maybe that will prevent me from getting destroyed from things, or alternatively, I could also switch to this hat. Yeah, it makes it harder to... Oh, it's because the shield. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's understandable. The shield. Um, okay, what happens if I wear this instead? Uh, it seems to still kind of not very usable. So I'm going to stick with this then. And yeah, look at that. That looks pretty busted to me. Not going to lie. Uh, it's only a, a matter of time until I actually get the ability to... Um, to cast on my current loadout and to not get destroyed by hexes on my current loadout too. Let's see here. Uh, I think I'm okay when it comes to hexes, but Dread Lich, because this guy is like the the most dangerous hexer in the whole game. 15% paralyze. Um, I wonder how that will change as we progress through the rest of the game. We have two runes now. I need to get uh, a third rune from, like, um, Bolts 5, most likely. Maybe Slime, depending on what we end up getting. If we get Refrigeration, which is not looking very likely, considering how my spells look like in my current loadout, well, uh, I might do Slime, but I don't need... Uh, I, I, not, I don't need Refrigeration for Bolts 5. Mm. Um, I think I'm gonna go do Depths. Depths is usually a place where resistances are pretty good. Oh, that's not good. 
blink. All right, blink works. Blink again. What's your chance to hex me? 7%. Okay, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. That is within um, tolerable, tolerable ranges of hexes. Um, yeah, I think my current hat is good enough to be worth using, despite the fact that it also forces me to use a ring of willpower to compensate for the negative willpower that it provides. Um, yeah, plus five, regen, resistance to corrosion, and uh, as the inscription says, it is indeed almost good of an item. It, it was pretty close to being a good item, but unfortunately it was not the case. Mm. Okay, looking pretty good. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have many issues here. Uh, as I mentioned before, this uh, Depths is a place where where uh, monsters have crazy um, elemental damage, and elemental damage is something that I am absolutely not worried about with this character. Ooh, but I am worried about um, about the Enchantress. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, I think I'm gonna secure the corridor. Um, Condenser Bane? Yeah, we're gonna Bane. Ooh, we won! <laughs> yeah, Condenser Bane on Acid is like the greatest thing in the game. You you just win the fight if you get that. Uh, unfortunately, the Enchantress has resistance to Acid. I think the, the Fairy Dragon Scales always get resistance to Acid. I'm gonna get some strength here. Um, and then on my next level ups, which are gonna be 24 and 27, I'm gonna get Intelligence. And um, yeah, I could I could have also gotten dexterity. Maybe dexterity would have been better for more shield. Uh, but it is what it is. I already made my decision. No take backsies in this game. Okay, the enchantress is lightly wounded. Let's try tremor stones. Tremor stones did do a fair amount of damage to the enchantress. Alrighty. Mm, could have been way worse. Okay, you don't have cold resistance, uh, so you're going to be taking uh, this damage from the ramparts. I think I could add onto that damage with a wand of ice blast. Yeah, I don't care about hurting myself because it barely deals any damage. Okay, brave sprig and defender, just like stepping into the corrosive cloud. I don't know if if it was me, I wouldn't I wouldn't step on a cloud of acid. Yeah, that sounds very painful, very inconvenient indeed. Uh, I'm gonna drink attraction here to pull all, all of these guys towards the acid to take the most advantage out of it. Yeah, that was amazing. Okay, I don't have that. I regent condenser bane in the in the span of that fight. That was crazy. Oh, are these summons? Mm. No, they're very real monsters, okay. They're also very really uh, realistically covered in acid. Uh, so, I don't know, this feels pretty decent. If I had one charge of Tin of Tremor Stones, that would be the time to use it. I do not have that, however, so we will have to deal with, with not having it. Um, I have um, a book that, that has, um, you know, the unrestrained Danalex. I should go buy it because I'm uh, I'm getting close to the point where I want to use it. Okay, let's um go buy that thing before I forget. The unrestrained Analex. Okay, we are going to be learning nothing more and nothing less than toxic radiance. And also we have seven levels left. Exactly enough for refrigeration. Um, but I could also wait for Orb of Destruction. I don't know. I don't think I can learn multiple level 7s. So I don't think I will have the experience uh, available for doing that. Hmm. Okay, I do want to kill this guy. This guy is weak to fire, so um, chances are good that I do manage to beat this guy. Let's give it a try. When did I lose to Intelligence? 
Okay, lightly damaged. It's not looking good, but uh, unfortunately the ghost is all like incredibly tanky armor class wise, so that's going to mitigate a lot of the damage even though the monster is um, weak to fire. Yeah, it's burned terribly. So it oscillates between it doesn't do damage and it's burned terribly. But when, whenever it does deal a lot of damage, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, it's almost destroyed. Maybe I can try tabbing this guy. Oh, wait, how much evasion? Oh, not, not even that much, but I seem to be not very capable of hitting that guy. Regardless, that was pretty good. I got a manual of staves. Which I guess will be slightly useful for getting Mindalay on the Elemental Staff when the time comes. Depths? Yeah, it's looking like depths. Um, Hell Knights, okay, and Hell Hawks. I wonder if Hell Hawks, oh, they're they're like in that bolt. I don't like that bolt. It is like Hellion Island, except that instead of Hellions, there's Hell Knights and Hell Hawks. Mm, yeah, not my most favorite bolt in the in the entirety of the game, I have to say. Okay, I think I'm just gonna ice blast these guys because I have. Uh, an unreal amount of charges of Ice Blast. It is very funny. Sometimes you go through the entirety of a three room game without finding like the amount of charges that I have on any one of my of my like good ones, you know? Um, I have a ton of acid, a ton of ice blast, a, a decent amount of mind burst. Um, I do only have 10 Paralysis and 15 Charming, but still, and 1 Digging. Um, but it's usually like the other way around. I end up having a lot of charges of my Hex ones, and not a lot of charges of the ones that I actually enjoy the most, which are the ones that deal damage. Um, they deal damage in a very special way that is not accessible to all characters. One of Acid is like an Acid Bolt uh, that penetrates and deals Acid damage, not a lot of players. In fact, it is very difficult for a player to acquire Acid damage. And the other one is like Ice Blast, which is an explosion, cannot miss. Uh, that is also a, a valuable thing to have um, for a player, an ability that cannot miss, just to guarantee that you're going to deal damage. Well, it's not quite a guarantee, but it is as close of a guarantee as you're going to get from, from a want. Uh, you also always have the chance of like hitting the monster with the explosion but dealing no damage. And that is indeed quite a tragic thing to, to be in the receiving end of, but it certainly does happen. Mm. Okay, so... Uh, the other day, I killed a couple of Spriggan Berserkers, and they were not um, bers the the summons were not berserking. I uh, wonder how that happened, but I guess it's okay that now it is fixed. Uh, of course, Berserkers are kind of scary, and unfortunately, the Spriggan Berserker is standing in the one tile that doesn't have fire, so it's gonna take me a while to to get rid of these um, of these summons. Spriggan Berserker is playing exactly how you should play as a Spriggan Berserker. Just bro and hide behind your bro. Uh, and unfortunately we got Clouds of Fire against Hell Knights. They are not going to be really doing a lot. Should probably focus on killing the Frost Giant. It probably deals more damage than, than the Hell Knights. Mm, they're all hasted. Huh. Mm, we should be fine. No, we're not fine. I do have two uh, pips of regen, so we can just like walk away from them a bit. We should be fine. We have three pips of fire resistance, so pretty much whenever they want to go for a uh, bolt of fire, it's going to be like a cantrip uh, for practical purposes. And so walking away uh, for a bit got me to... Uh, or got me like... 25% of my maximum HP back. That was pretty good. Mm. 
Yeah, at least these guys don't mite. If they mited, they would be way more dangerous. And way more suitable for bolts, because apparently everything mites in bolts. Hmm. I could also consider picking up and using that Demon Blade of Flaming. I could I could enchant it. I don't have many scrolls left after enchanting the Demon Trident that I use for the trove, but I have some left. And now um, I know this Tango Reaper doesn't herald Sojobo because I know Sojobo is in in bolts. Okay, good luck uh, LRDing me. I have 41 armor class. Sometimes you are afraid of LRD. This character wouldn't be one of those. Um, I am very close to the 15 shields. Kind of excited for that. By the way, my skills are so low for this point in the game. Uh, it's just what happens when everything is minus one, right? 16 fighting, 14 long blades, 9.7 stapes, uh, 10 armor, 10 dodging, almost 15 shields. And then there's the magic. I have a lot of things yeah, magic-wise that I want to train for that I just haven't been able to train for um, because I don't have enough experience to train for them. Uh, it is what it is. Okay. Of, of course, at this point in the game, we don't particularly care any one bit about... Yeah, these are like a joke. Still, five of them is kind of annoying, so I'm just going to remove them all with Ice Blast. Ironic that uh, you use Ice Blast to kill... Ice plus living spells. I don't think the living spells will shoot themselves at me because it will hurt a dragon. I don't think they will do that. Yeah. I guess it's very fortunate that I got that one because the Crystal Spear one is way more dangerous to my character. Like, way more. I cannot stress it enough. Um... Yeah, with uh, only 13 evasion... Um, getting Crystal Spirit would be a very bad thing indeed. Alrighty. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we started this character yesterday and it is, or it turned out to be a very surprising character to me. Because it's been pretty powerful. Um, I like Demigods, and I think Demigods are strong, but this one got crazy lucky with the loot that I got off the floor. I unfortunately didn't get books um, early on in the game. If I had gotten books, I would have gone with a different uh, skilling routing. Um, I probably would have gotten good book spells. But I think I had zombie hands, and that was it. And I did think about it, but then I got um, body armor and stuff. And the staple for a demigod is casting level five, level six spells in in plates. That's just that's just what they do, what they can do. Um, so yeah, I think the time has come for me to train some more or magic, poison magic. Transmutations. Okay. Yeah, I think those are the most important things for me to train right now. So I'm gonna turn them on and uh, just continue with my with my gaming. Um, I want to get Toxic Radiance. Toxic Radiance is so good against so many monsters here. Spriggans, Toxic Radiance. Giants, Toxic ra Toxic Radiance. Caustic Strikes, Toxic Radiance. Um, Hell Knights, Toxic Radiance. Juggernauts, Toxic Radiants. I guess Juggernauts is um, also included in the tight in the giant package, but you you know just for emphasis. Um... Okay, there's so many things in depths that are vulnerable to poison. I like it a lot because. Um... Because the meme used to be that poison was trash at a certain point in the game, right? Uh, and now it's not that that is just not a thing that happens anymore. I guess poison can get complicated to use later on in the game. Um, if you go for extended, maybe in sort, uh, it can be annoying to use because not everything is um, like there are some dangerous things in sort that are very that are just in, straight up immune or, or resistant to poison. Um, 
I guess a good example of that would be an orb of fire, tentacled monstrosity, um, cursed toes. But yeah, for the draconians themselves, only the green ones are poison resistant. Maybe you get unlucky and uh, something like a purple draconian gets a cloak of willpower, or not willpower, but like a cloak of poison resistance. That would be uh, most aggravating indeed. Uh, talking about that, I wouldn't complain if I found one of those myself, because that would allow me to take off the ring of poison resistance and wear like a ring of evasion or something. Um, yeah, I would love that. Maybe a ring of wizardry. It's not something that I use very often, but a ring of wizardry would be quite sweet indeed for for this character. It would allow me to to maybe get access to all those high level spells that I want to cast uh, faster, uh, like uh, refrigeration, maybe even ignition, um, and as, um, if I get lucky, um, orb of destruction. Yeah, we haven't found it yet. And we may not find it, because it's already kind of late into the game. I guess we can always keep hope uh, that Bolt 5 delivers. Is it true that you can get zero damage reduction when you have high armor class? Is it that random? Um, what do you mean by zero damage reduction? Ah, I think I know what you mean, yeah. Well, um... Armor in this game has a hidden property called Guaranteed Damage Reduction. It used to be married to uh, armor type, like it used to be hard-coded depending on the armor type. Now it doesn't work like that, now it's, it works based on your armor class. So the, now the more armor class that you have, the more Guaranteed Damage Reduction you have. Uh, but that only applies for melee. I don't think it even applies for projectiles, for like a monster shooting an arbalest at you. I don't think it applies for that. And it definitely doesn't apply to spells. Uh, not even spells like Iron Shot or Crystal Spear. So for those spells, if you get a really bad roll, you can indeed like not have it reduce any damage. Um, but like the stars need to align for A, you not taking... Uh, or not reducing the damage of a crystal spear in like at all uh, when you get hit by one of them and B the crystal spear rolling high enough when that does happen so yeah uh, it is just like extremely unlikely for for that to be an issue and yeah talking about mighty monsters it might get buffed or something it seems that um, that every that like um, every Time I see a monster that's mighty, it just hits super hard out of nowhere. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if all of that damage came from that uh, mighty iron troll that's next to me. Yep, um, the rest of them either miss or just like straight up don't do anything. It's, it's the mighty iron troll. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for, for curating the mighty iron troll. Blink. Hmm. This is quite annoying indeed. Okay. Yeah, for practical purposes that I don't troll is Berserk. Now it's fast. Was it always fast? Okay, it's just refusing to die. Uh, it is almost dead. I could go for Ignite Poison. It wouldn't work. Gonna go for... For acid, maybe? 95% chance to hit? Okay, I'm gonna take those odds. There we go. Um, the other one is um, kind of annoying. They hit hard. 35, 25, 25 is quite a lot of damage. Um, at least they're slow, so you can reliably run away from them. Um, I can just get out of here. Might as well take the chance to do exactly that. Okay. Yeah, that got oddly complicated. A monster might must have gotten buffed, because I have noticed a trend with this character. Like, every time there's a mighty monster, this character just, like, loses a fight. It may also be related to the fact that maybe I just don't have enough damage to deal with them uh, in time with my defenses. But I, I don't know. Something about that makes me, like skeptical this kind of character 41 13 15 they're not like 
bad defenses. I would call them definitely good defenses because I have high armor class, but I don't have zero evasion. Um, 13 evasion is kind of the same armor, the same evasion that you start the game with, but when you start the game, it doesn't come bundled with 41 armor class, right? So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I mean. And also the 15 shield, but I keep getting hit really hard for some reason. Okay, I wonder if I can cast Toxic Radiance. 36%, so we're getting pretty close to being able to cast it. Mm. Um, nope, I don't want any of those. Maybe the Scarf of Repulsion, but I think I would be much more appreciative of a Cloak of Poison Resistance. Or a Cloak of Willpower, I guess. Um... Yeah, either one of those would be okay, and they're like a very realistic thing for me to acquire in Salt because all the Draconians have um, have cloaks, so it is um, it is just bound to happen. Eventually, one of these Draconians will generate with a cloak of poison resistance or a cloak of willpower, and I could grab that. This one doesn't have a cloak, however. Okay, yeah, I used the cloud of uh, poison from that guy to to just uh, ignite poison the Etin because the Etin got itself poisoned. Um, that went well. On naturally hard rock, interesting. Why is that here? That's such a a weird part of a bolt design. Like very few bolts have on naturally hard uh, walls in this game. Most noticeably, I guess, Sot has it, um, like the, the Hall of Sot, but to see it outside a Hall of Sot, that's um, most unusual. Okay, you know, this is very um, reminiscent of my last, uh, or no, not my last character, but the, the Hep character that I did the other day, where I was running around in like uh, depths and, and Sot kill storming things. Except that this character is instead um, flame waving things. Yeah. But uh, it is similar enough for me to want to make mention of that because it is a level 4 um, conjuration that I'm using in, in depths. It is very funny because I thought the point of those were was to like make them not powerful enough for you to want to go through the late game only with them. I don't know. Like, don't misunderstand me. I don't want them nerfed, but it is is probably the fact that I have um, uh, that I have good defenses that lets me get away with using them. Um, I have nine magic mapping, so I am not going to go grab that one, and I know that I'm not gonna mess around with a shining eye, and I'm gonna get malmutated. So. Mm -mm -mm. What are we going to be doing now? Give me a second. Let's take a look at something real quick. Okay, um, I could do Bolt 5, and I could do Slime. I am much more confident doing Bolt 5 than I'm doing Slime, because uh, for Bolt 5, I, um, I guess I have Toxic Radiance. If I turn off um, Transmutations and their magic, pretty much just going to Poison Magic, that will make it castable faster, and I already have Ignite Poison castable, which is what I really wanted to get castable. Yeah, um, I need a Ring of Wizardry, probably. I'm gonna go grab it off of Orc 2. I wouldn't be surprised if after buying one of these Rings of Wizardry, the immediate next thing that I find in, uh, in the floor or something is a Ring of Wizardry. Um, that's just kind of how the game works. 
so there were a bunch of shops in this game and we already visited almost every level that can have a shop so i don't feel bad about backtracking and buying um shop or buying all these distilleries off let's see what we have here i don't care about the three potions anymore i'm gonna buy the heal wounds for moral support more than anything um Mm, any other distilleries? There's one in Orc 2. Potion of Haste. Not bad. Maybe Brilliance too. Yeah, this is really making me feel like a capitalist. Just go running around buying things off of shops. A lot of things from a lot of shops. Um, it, it is a very go sack thing to do uh, to just buy all of the things that you want from shops. Mm, but it, I guess this character just got lucky to, to have um, enough money to, to buy everything that it wants. Okay, let's buy these and haste and brilliance. Um, I guess I can also buy these. Yeah, okay. Now I think I'm ready. Let's see. 21 curing, 12 haste, 6 heal wounds, 3 resistance. Not bad, not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Um, so bolt 5 it is, I guess, because I already did all of the depths. Um, oh yeah, I remember running away from bolt 4. Because I wasn't able to deal with all the mighty bold wardens and bold guards and and everything that got mightied by convokers. I guess I'm gonna have to change the glyph of the convoker to make it more immediately obvious that it is kind of a messed up enemy. Um, that so you don't convoke and um, probably most importantly you don't um, mighty everyone. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And I'm not worried about using it and not having it for Bolt 5. I'm pretty sure this level has enough experience left on it that I can just recharge it by the time I go into Bolt 5. Yeah, uh, if I cast the Sukubu's armor, I get... Um, I get three more... Armor class. I go all the way up to 44 armor class. It is pretty funny to me that um, that it only increases three armor class, but its effectiveness decreases with like uh, the value of your body armor. So if you have good body armor, it uh, gives you less armor skill or less armor stat to use as a Kubus armor. So it's at its best with something like Throw Letter or Steam Dragon Scales. Things that are like super light. Um, and I know that I was running around in the early game tabbing things with like 27 armor class using uh, a row of willpower and a Sokubus armor. And I guess a ring of, um, ring of armor class too. Mm, what is the button for acid? Okay, that's what it is. Oh, I typoed. I wanted to hit the war gargoyle, actually. Uh, not much to do about that. Okay. Those war gargoyles are no joke. They're so scary, especially when they get mighty. Like, I think war gargoyles before were already like a super scary monster. Now they're even more scary than before. Have you seen the Jiva changes? Uh, they're pretty crazy to me. Um, I don't know. I was not too sure about the Jiva changes before, but they seem to be getting pretty interesting. I might have to play a Jiva character. I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna be miserable with the Jiva character because that was the last time. Like the experience that I had last time I played Jiva was exactly that. Um, 
I wonder why gargoyles, why war gargoyles are fast. Like that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, they're so dangerous. They feel like a like a new hell monster. Especially with the fact that they are always mighty, pretty much, because they come alongside a peacekeeper. Shelters from injuries. Hmm. Yep. Oh, mighty monsters. Mighty monsters in these. That's what they do. They hit you really hard out of nowhere. Hmm. Hey, you destroyed the war gargoyle. I can go back to to tabbing these deep trolls. Probably should flame wave them instead, just to deal more damage to them. Ooh, look at that! That is indeed what I predicted I was going to find. Um, I bought a ring of wizardry, and the game gave me a better ring of wizardry almost immediately. All right, and for free too. So I I could have I could have saved like three four hundred gold if I had not bought it. But I don't think I care about gold uh, with this character. Let's be completely honest, I don't think there's anything else that I want to buy with this character. Despite the fact that I got a, a massive, unreal amount of shops. Oh, would you look at that? Don't mind if I do. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This character was using swords before it got the staff, uh, the elemental staff, right? So I can definitely make use of the Autumn Katana. Um, and that's why I'm going to carry it around. Okay, I already have the skill to cast um, Toxic Radiance. So I'm just going to quiver it. It's going to be good for almost everything. Yeah, and then Ignite Poison. And that just kills almost everything here. There's very few monsters that are not destroyed by that combination. Like Ugly Things, Wizards, easy peasy. Um, both Wardens and both Guards also get destroyed by that. Slime Creatures do not get destroyed by it, uh, most noticeably. What's my bottom for Flame Wave? Um, okay. Hmm, what is that? Just out of curiosity, repulsion. I could use that, but nah, I don't think I want to. Okie dokie, alrighty. Hmm. I like this um, this character, as I mentioned before, it's pretty powerful. So yeah, okay. Bolt 5. Um, Normally, I would like to fight everything in, uh, in the stairs, but I don't think I can afford to do it uh, with this character. That was a lot of experience that I got seemingly out of nowhere. Can't complain about that. Um, I think I want to get minimum delay on my staff. Wow. Yeah, take a look at the damage. I killed like half of the bolt guards. Did I kill the frost giant? I was curious because the frost giant was extremely poisoned. But no, it was only severely wounded. Alrighty. Still, that went pretty well. Mm. So, I want uh, to get minimum delay on, on the staff. Maybe I will consume the entirety of the manual. There's no there's no guarantee that I will do that, but maybe I will. Um, and after that, maybe try to get my refrigeration, maybe ignition. Okay, gotta put on the poison resistance. Instead of the Ring of the Endless Expanse. Uh, I guess I can afford to not use it for a while. I'll go back to it maybe later. If I... Um, if I think it's a good idea to do so. 
Mm. Okay, so what are we going to be getting now for real? What am I going to be getting for my end game um, spell? I have refrigeration and I have ignition. I think maybe refrigeration, just because it hits everything. This it is going to be expensive, however. Um, okay. It's gonna be refrigeration, just because it will probably be slightly less expensive than the level eight spell. Hmm. Okay, for once the war gargoyle is not um, mighty. I guess I I can deal with that. But the, it still hits crazy hard. I don't understand it. I don't feel like they should hit so hard with me having 44 armor class. Mm. Yeah, it is funny because the Golden Dragon hits way harder, theoretically. But the Golden Dragon... Just like hasn't really done a lot to me. Like, take a look at the damage. Close you but does no damage. Close you, hits you but does no damage. Yada yada. Like, of course, that's how normal monsters behave when they're hitting a, a player character that has 44 or more class. But the War Gargoyle doesn't seem to care. It just like does crazy damage. Okay, I decided to go for that to um, to get rid of um, the Tango Reaver first because the Tango Reaver was kind of threatening. Wow. Okay, this is not going well. Mm, I would like to not have to fight until I'm back at full HP. How much stealth do I do I have? Because I did notice that this Shadow Dragon didn't notice me immediately. And for that, I am kind of grateful, not gonna lie. Okay, I think I have to make my stand here, because I don't feel like it's a good idea to, to keep walking. I'm just gonna end up stumbling into another band of monsters, and then things are gonna be going very bad for me. Alrighty. I wonder if... Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? I'm not killing war gargoyles easily, because they have Omni resistance. So they don't resist... They're, they're not immune to everything, but they are resistant to everything uh, that the elemental staff can do. So maybe when I find a war gargoyle, I, I should switch to the autumn katana to try to, to hit them with that. But only for war gargoyles. The rest of the monsters die um, very easily to the elemental staff. Um... You know, oh, talking about war gargoyles. Yeah, take a look at that. It went from lightly damaged to moderately damaged to just exploded. Alrighty, I feel like that went well. I'm just gonna walk towards you. Okay. Did anyone here saw the trailer for Project L that released uh, on Saturday? I saw it and I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, it's so amazing. I want that game. I've wanted it since 2019 when it was announced that it was in development. Another War Gargoyle. Maybe it's just that there's always War Gargoyles in this place, but I just don't notice them because I'm usually powerful enough to deal with them. But for some reason, with this character, nope, it's not the case. They are really dangerous. Okay. Mm, I think we may be fine here. I'm gonna try to kill first the Iron Dragon and then maybe... Oh, there's a Stone Giant over there. The Stone Giant makes me slightly nervous. I'm gonna use Fogu. Maybe also Might. I haven't used it a single time this game. But Might is definitely gonna be quite helpful for dealing with the Iron Dragon. Then I'm gonna get rid of the Shadow Dragon. Uh, and I'm gonna keep the Bolt Guard for last, because the Bolt Guard has a shield, so I cannot really melee it, I need to cast spells against it. So many War Gargoyles. Why is it only War Gargoyles now? Like, um, and also, most importantly, why are War Gargoyles so hard for this character? I don't get it. This character is weird, that's the only way to put it. 
Uh, I do have minimum delay on the Autumn Katana. I was wondering, because I don't feel like I'm doing very well. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Should probably not rest in here. I should probably go around the corner and rest on the other side of this wall. Okay, back to full HP we go. That's one of the greatest risks of Bolt 5. The fact that um, the fact that there is uh, so many monsters in here that resting once the start uh, once the fight starts it's like a pretty complicated endeavor. Um, okay, pretty good. Oh, I got marked. What marked me? Did I photo Sentinel and I just got marked by the Sentinel? I think that's exactly what happened. Mm, 14%, so I got kind of unlucky with the mark. Tragic. Um, I don't want to heal wounds. Well, I kind of do want to heal wounds, but I'm not going to. Toxic Radiance, Toxic Radiance, Ignite Poison. Didn't get rid of one of these settings, unfortunately. Mm. Okay, they're only very poisoned. What is going on? Why is this? Why is the poison on the Storm Dragon dropping off? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I still have Toxic Radiance. Should be getting more and more poisoned. Hmm. This is very unusual. Okay. Mm, these guys are kind of scary because they can melee you to reduce willpower. Yeah, the game may say that they look easy, but I don't believe the game. They are not easy by any means. Did I post that thing? I I maybe did, but I'm not sure. No, I did post it. Okay. I'm gonna read the Fogu here. Then I'm gonna go for Flame Wave. Yikes. Yeah, this is not looking good, not gonna lie. I don't know why am I like failing to kill all of these things. I guess I should have removed the mark when when I had the chance to do so. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not fine. I took a lot of damage from that. Pretty much what dealt the damage was the Tango Reaver hitting me with the Sword of Distortion. And it, the worst part about that is that I drank a heal wound, so I still took 29 damage. That's a really bad thing to see. Mm, yeah, this is not good. Not liking this one bit. Uh, blink. I feel like I'm just dead here. Um, usual Bolt 5 um, situation, I guess. You get marked, you don't remove it, you have to fight the entirety of the level, and the entirety of the level is way too much for the, for anyone to reasonably deal with. That's kind of my bad. They only have two pips of willpower. Maybe I can fear them. Uh, the Tengu Reaver resists with almost no effort. Let me guess, the one that has the distortion sword, of course. Predictable crawl. Mm. At least I'm not slow or anything. I don't feel comfortable about doing anything. Okay, there we go. It didn't walk towards me. That gives me one turn to maybe do something. Uh, and the something that I'm going to do is read teleport. Uh-huh. That's fine. No melee from the Tango Reaver with distortion. The other one has a War Axe of Holy Wrath. Pretty relevant. Heal wounds. You regain 8 HP. The Phantasmal Warrior hits you. Uh, monsters randomly hitting pretty hard for no reason. Like, what is going on? There's This is not right. This doesn't feel like like it should be this way. Um, 
I wonder if there's like something bugged with crawl. It wouldn't be the first time that something funky happens with crawl that causes the monsters to deal crazy damage. Or oh, oh, that is so insulting. So you know what happened there? I teleported and I landed in a tile that triggered an exploration-based trap. And uh, the turn I removed the the um, uh, the marked, I I got it reapplied. That's so stupid. I think that shouldn't be a thing that exists in the game. That feels so lame. Um, exploration bait straps in general are are like pretty whack in my opinion. I feel like they punish you for no reason. Never like them. I hope that they get removed from the game anytime soon. Or, yeah, in, in the future, in the near future. Mm. Okay, that's not a terrible thing to, to get. Ignite poison. I lost so much HP so fast, but I guess I never fully recovered. Because, well, um, I landed from my teleport and I got immediately marked again. Hopefully I can rest after fighting these guys. What's your chance to paralyze me? 1%, so it's not 0%, but it's very unlikely to happen. Imagine if it did end up happening. I would be so mad. Because uh, in general, when you get hexed um, with that low of a chance, it just doesn't feel good. Yeah, it just feels like you just got randomly destroyed by the RNG um, without making any any mistakes uh, yourself. But maybe the mistake is thinking that you can survive even if the monster has a 1% chance to hex you. Mm. Should probably drink an invisibility. I never use them, but uh, it's because everything sees invisible. I... I don't use them, so I don't know what has invisible and what doesn't have uh, see invisible. But I guess everything that I'm currently fighting sees invisible. Maybe the Etin doesn't. Yeah, the Etin doesn't, but the Titans do. Uh, that uh, is the reason, quite probably, why I don't like Enchanter. Um, way back in the day, when they still got invisibility, I was like, oh yeah, sure, they have invisibility, but... What the use is, is invisibility when when everything in the late games is invisible. I remember, I remember being like that, and then going them with my successful Spriggan Enchanter and pretty much getting carried by Nemelex. <laughs> okay, I know that's not Saint Roca's band. Just a random assortment of knights and, and warriors. Mm, a shop. Uh, so many sources of resistance to electricity and so many sources of regen in this game. I don't care about these. Uh, we are just going to grab the rune. Oh, it was a mimic. Okay. Another word, Gargoyle, Autumn Katana, maybe Igna, uh, or Toxic, no, sorry, sorry, Osokubus Armor, that's what I meant. Let me grab the rune. I think Reaver blocks my attack. Oh, you have a Buckler, okay. So we can cast spells. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Still looking forward to finding um, a cloak of willpower or poison resistance. Uh, whatever frees up a, a ring slot so I can wear um, 
Ooh, that's a Dread Leech. Let's just go upstairs, Mr. Golden Dragon. Yeah, I can I can kill you easily here with no interference from the Dread Leech. We got gold scales, and I could use them, but I don't think I I am going to use them with this character. Yeah. Okay. So Dread Leech, 9% chance to, to hex me. Um I do have a hat that gives me one pip less of willpower. I could consider also taking it off, but I am not too much of a fan of doing that. Um, apart from the paralysis, the, the Dread Leech doesn't do... Uh, well, I guess Summon Greater Demon is kind of dangerous, but I am not afraid of it with this character. It's only the combination of those two things. Like, I would have to get paralyzed and then uh, have a Greater Demon summoned on me for, for that to be really dangerous. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's like really specific Tormentor. Okay. Potion of 3. Do not get tormented. Yep. That uh, gives me with the same willpower. Because I uh, gain and lose one pip of willpower. So literally the same. And the Dread Lich doesn't have any conjurations or anything. So nuking my evasion. Dealing with this Dread Lich by turning into a 3 is not an issue. You can just continue tabbing it. Good stuff. Okay, I will continue to, to clear uh, Bolts 5 because we do want to get a, a nice cloak from, from doing this. Better wait out the mark. Too dangerous to be on a on that level, while well, marked even if you have already cleared half of the level. Yeah, you know how it is. Those guys have crazy high uh, amounts of... Well, that level has crazy high amounts of monsters. It is a bit cartoonish. I get marked every time like what is going on why am i getting marked every time like i go downstairs and i instantly get marked you have a 22 percent chance to mark me now oh huh, that's weird i thought that it was like 15 percent before how did it go up what changed that made it go up i have no idea but still it's a one in five chance and it's just like happening every time RNG for monsters versus RNG for players, right? Hmm, I got knocked away from the stairs. We should be okay. Hmm, okay, that was uh, the result desired. I have pretty good resistances, so all these dragons and um, giants and stuff, like, I'm, I'm not concerned about them. Not at all. Not by... Um, not one bit. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Not one bit. Mm, okay. Mm, okay, those um, Ice Dragon scales wouldn't be terrible, but it's a bit too late into the game for me to wear them. The Vampiric Valax would have been sick as, as well. Like, whenever I mention an example for a two-hander that's, like, in my opinion, good enough to be worth using instead of a shield, I always mention a Vampiric, uh, a vampiric Axe, two-handed axe, obviously. And that would be precisely that. A Book of Spears. I don't have to... Well, I'm going to inspect it, just because I don't know it. But I was pretty sure that it had Orb of Destruction. What kind of Book of Spears wouldn't have Orb of Destruction? And by the way, I like the flavor text, because you can see its final pages begin to describe a spell titled Summon Orb of Sod. But sadly, the remainder of the book has been completely vaporized. I, um, I like that flavor a lot. I find it pretty funny, but yeah, that's probably going to be my endgame spell. Um, I could also cast Breach now that I have 14 of that. I can learn it. Hmm. Okay. What happens if I put on the Ring of Wizardry now? 
28% chance to miscast it. So we cannot cast it yet, but it is very well within the realm of possibility that I will be able to cast it, especially after next level up where I'm going to be getting intelligence, and that's four intelligence. Um, so the same amount of skill that I need to cast uh, Orb of Destruction, I'm going to need to cast, or rather the same amount of skill that I'm going to need for Refrigeration, I'm going to need for Orb of Destruction. We need to keep that in mind. And it's already kind of late in the game, so there's no guarantee that I will have a, enough uh, skill to, to learn it. Well, I'm going to put it on the wish list because I may not be, ever be able to cast it, but I will most definitely keep it in mind. And uh, for now, I'm going to use my money to buy resistance, and I guess I can buy these as well. It is pretty sweet to um, to get the distilleries in in here because it is a bunch of potions, uh, and potions happen to be like a really good thing. Okay, I stumbled into a teleport trap and I got lured into an iron dragon, which, by the way, I should probably use the autumn katana against. I wonder if it would be better as well to to train some um, armor skill. I only have 10 armor. So many shops. So many shops. Blinking. Give me that. Mm, more blinking. Wow, the amount of blinking that this character got. I guess I have 7, but... Um, that was one of my greatest lackings with this character. Like, I, I didn't have that many uh, scrolls of blinking. And yeah, more... I don't know. I don't. I really don't understand why, uh, why I'm taking so much crazy damage out of nowhere. Yeah, no idea. With these defenses, I don't think I should be taking that high amount of damage uh, so fast. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just imagining things. <laughs> that that could be the case. I could just be imagining things. Uh, I'm gonna get the acquirement. It's overpriced, but sure. Uh, the Brodax is pretty decent. Oh, the gold is trash. The boots of stealth. I current. I think my current boots are way better than that. Plus one boots of cold resistance and dexterity plus four. Yeah, no, I don't care about those boots. I don't care about the Brodax. And um, the book has nothing for me, so I'm going to lose 500 gold from buying that scroll of acquirement. Uh, it is what it is. 56% um, chance to miscast Fritch. We are going to put on the Ring of Wizardry, and now it's 26%. Okay. Mm, I kind of want to do slime, but I'm also I'm going to do sod first instead. Um, yeah, now that I have three runes, I can just go do sod and uh, maybe get some experience from doing sod. Wow. Okay. Uh, I I'm not a fan of of going into a branch and just having nine draconians being surrounding me, and I feel like it happens way too much, unfortunately. Okay, at least I have toxic radiance and ignite poison. That combination gets rid of so many things in here. It is absurdly powerful um when when venom mage started with that like venom mage was so ridiculous and as you can see like the only guys that are still alive are the, the red draconians and the green draconians the red draconians because they don't take that much damage from ignite poison and the green draconians because they don't get poisoned in the first place Okay, 
Yeah, this character shouldn't really have many issues with Sot, or at least with Draconians, which are like almost the entirety of Sot. No, let's get out of here. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, um, I love this bolt because who in their right mind would open that? Like, one of these liches would be way too dangerous to deal with uh, on its own, but it's four and a ghost that may or may not have spells. And yeah, the ghost is a Naga monk ghost, so no. No, we're not doing that, even though it has a very alluring uh, helmet, Randard helmet, that I, that I definitely want. Ouch. Mm, Quicksilver Dragon Berserk. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Ouch, so much damage. I really have absolutely like no idea why am I taking so much damage from so many random monsters. Yeah, I thought that having a kite shield would make things better, but maybe it wasn't the case. Hmm. This character is deceptively difficult. Yeah, like, this character has crazy loot, crazy stats, crazy everything, and it is still so hard. Because I think it may be because I'm just not killing things well enough. Um, yeah, maybe Toxic Radiance for, for Sot is not the greatest thing in the world. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to feel way more like uh, like a mage would normally feel. Double miscast? At 6%? Well, I guess it's more likely than you'd think. Whenever I go downstairs and I see that Ancient Lich, I'm always like in panic mode. <laughs> But, but yeah, it's because it is inside that awful bolt. Um, it almost makes me wish that I had that Convoker to, uh, to access to do that. Like that uh, cheesy Convoker tactic where you uh, just uh, like pull a Convoker around and, um, and make it pull enemies out of, um, out of bolts like that. So they are much more manageable. Around the death cough. Easy. Shadow Dragon and Tentacle Monstrosity. Okay. Ow! Why everything just deals crazy damage? I don't get it. It's probably because I have low HP. I don't know, like... It is funny, because this character should be crazy powerful, but it feels not powerful anymore. Um, yeah, for, for so long, I well... I think we started feeling very strong, and um, and it started the king so hard. And now I wouldn't call it strong by any means. Maybe by the time, or when, when I get refrigeration, it will feel much more powerful. 
Ah, uh, the downside of refrigeration is that I don't have poison resistance, and I hate not having poison resistance for Sot. Yeah, people used to think that it didn't really matter, but I've always felt like it's a, the correct thing to have in Sot because it just deals so much damage. Uh, to be fighting a uh, golden dragon or draconians in a corridor and to get um, poison clouded if you don't have the resistance. It, it feels really, really bad. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to a cloak of, um, cloak of poison resistance or cloak of willpower. Yeah, and as you can see, SOT1 has uh, generated 14 cloaks for me, but none that have the properties that I want. And I guess it's perfectly understandable, they're kind of rare. Um, cloaks of willpower, cloaks of poison resistance. Um, I am doing SOT uh, to, to get enough experience to be able to, to cast refrigeration. And then when I have a um, refrigeration, I will be doing slime to try to find uh, the cloak that I want. Mm, okay, this is not looking terrible. This is definitely not looking terrible. I'm still not a fan of it. Oh, I have no digging. I used my last charge of digging. No digging? Seriously, there, I got a bolt that requires me to dig. Was it like depth 3 or something? Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, never mind. This bolt doesn't have digging. Or the, this bolt doesn't require you to dig. Hmm. Well, it's a bunch of trash items. Whenever I get bolts like these, I don't even bother. <laughs> like, they are a death trap. Whatever they have there they're trying to allure you with it's not worth it it's just how it is uh it's kind of like desolation assault um i think of them as very reminiscent of the desolation assault in that regard you probably should never go into the desolation assault if you get a character to that point in the game um i have gone into desolation assault with really powerful characters and it has not gone well, so I'm I'm not a fan of the solution assault just like altogether. Still looking for that um, cloak of poison resistance or cloak of willpower. I think it's uh, it's more likely that I will have to go do slime in order to get it than than it dropping from from here. But I don't know. Like this is the place with all the cloaks. I would be, or rather, it's not that I would be surprised, but like this is kind of the place where where if you're going to get a a cloak like that, it's it's just gonna drop here, right? Because so many cloaks end up generating. Uh, but it hasn't generated. And yeah, uh, in case you don't know why I want specifically a Cloak of Poison Resistance or a Cloak of Willpower, my two rings are Poison Resistance and Willpower. And my Cloak doesn't have anything that I value, it has a stealth. So if I get a cloak of poison resistance or willpower that allows me to take off the corresponding ring and replace it for a ring of wizardry, which allows me to cast refrigeration. And refrigeration happens to be a really good thing to, to cast altogether. So, so yeah, that is why I want it. Uh, charming. I guess that. Yeah, charming invaluable in SOT. Uh, there's gonna be Draconians that always get Berserked. So it is very, very good for you to um, to be able to charm them. So they uh, help you kill all of these guys. I wish I had digging. Um, I can't believe it. No digging. Yeah, I think the most important thing that I should get rid of is this Draconian Shifter, so these guys do not encircle me. 
Is this a permanent trap? It's not permanent. Okay, get rid of the tentacle monstrosity. It can grab you, it can make things. Oh no, that's not good. Mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna have to deal with a lot more draconians. Maybe I should haste. Is there any draconian here? The purple? <laughs> Give tuber? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Let's just roll with it. I, I like the jiva gif. I don't want to remove it from the overlay, so why not? It, maybe that attracts more people. I don't think it would dissuade people from from watching, so I don't lose anything from having that in in the title. Um, we are going to drink attraction here because we got acid, and acid is about as good as it gets. Maybe you should learn Live 2D? That's a software that people use to make VTuber avatars and things like that, right? You should learn it. I, I hear that it's a very profit profitable um, skill to have. Like, people all around the world are very much into um, getting into VTubing. And they, they need an avatar. Like, for every, every person that wants to give it a try needs an avatar. Um, so yeah, you could definitely start learning that and, and monetize it. When it comes to artistic things, myself, specifically like drawing and that kind of stuff, I am not good and I am also not patient or interested enough to put in the effort to, to be good. It's like the combination of those two things because, of course, no one starts being good, but I also don't have the patience or the interest to try to be good. For any sorts of animation? I don't know. I thought that it was only for VTuber avatars. Okay, these draconians are getting melted. Um, wouldn't have it any other way than that. I am very surprised by this character. And not in a good way. Like, this feels like it should be just destroying Sot. But it is not. It is not doing that by any means. I have no idea why or how it is not destroying Sod, but it is most definitely not doing it. 9% chance to fridge. I guess I can go do slime now uh, and hopefully get better loot. Mm. I'm still gonna train it to 18. Oh, it's already at 18. <laughs> wow, that's sad. Um, Okay, getting acid clouds off of that condenser bane was so helpful. And despite the fact that I killed like two draconian bands during that fight, I didn't get it recharged. That's kind of sad. I think I remembered this vault. Okay, 18 ice magic. I think um, maybe I should get like 15 spell casting or something. Maybe that will help with casting refrigeration. As it is right now with no with no wizardries at 19%, I guess that should be considered a huge accomplishment, especially keeping in mind that I have plates and that I don't have behumet or anything funny like that. I'm just a good old demigod running around in the dungeon, trying to scrape by with whatever the floor god gives me. Okay. Draconian and Ileros, do they have Crystal Spear? Let's, let's take a look at that. Um, Draconian and Ileros. They have Crystal Spear. It's only three dice of 35, so that's fine. Still a lot of damage, however. But yeah, um, I know... Well, whatever it is, I would indeed recommend you to, to consider very heavily investing some time acquiring that skill. It seems like something that already complements your natural tendency to draw and to make visual art like that um so yeah like that sounds pretty good to me um but as i mentioned uh for myself i i can't i don't have the skill 
and I also don't have the desire to to get the skill. So so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna do that. Um, a while ago, I downloaded Blender and I opened Blender with like no tutorial or anything, and I saw a ball, and I was so confused by the ball, I was unable to to mold it. I um I don't know. I don't know what I imagined when I when I downloaded Blender, but I thought that it would be like play though or something that it would just be like more easily interactable with maybe if i looked up a tutorial i would become better at blender but no i don't think i particularly care about that um so we are gonna be doing slime slime zero because slime with refrigeration sh uh should be relatively easy I think we can get rid of the poison resistance. I don't think anything there poisons me. And I also have Flame Wave, which allows me to kill uh, Azure Jellies. I have three pips of the resistances, the relevant ones. Um, so, refrigeration it is. Oh, what's the refrigeration button? Let's move it here, because I have that on the quiver, so... Okay. Yep, refrigeration is gonna be really good for rock slimes. Mm, I lost two dexterity. I guess that's fine. Could have been two strength or two intelligence, and it would have been more impactful. Alrighty. Mm, don't forget that demigods take the longest uh, out of all the species in the game to level up, so. Yeah, otherwise I would already be higher level. And this is with two potions of experience too. Sure, they were early game potions of experience, but I think they greatly um, helped with my character becoming stronger. Oh, the formed body. Well, uh, at least I have like a million potions of mutation. It may say seven, but I have way more than that. Yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... Uh, 12 potions of mutation in this game, so we can definitely um, remove some mutations if we so desire. I think refrigeration doesn't check armor class, because if it checked armor class, it would be kind of bad against the rock slime, because it has a million armor class. I wish I could confirm that. Maybe if I do this, the game will tell me. Uh, <laughs> by passing any armor the targets may have. Wow, it's so stupid. <laughs> like, why do all the ice magic spells just, like, don't care about defenses? It's crazy to me that uh, refrigeration hits everything on the screen and it doesn't care about the defenses that the monsters have. Like, no armor, no dodging, no shields, it just deals damage. Um, I guess it does care about cold resistance. Um, but yeah, it is very strong. I am very much a fan of refrigeration because of that. I like using powerful spells, and refrigeration happens to be a powerful spell, so, so why not? Hmm... It does feel kind of bad uh, when it fails to one-shot things that you would think it would one-shot, like that shining eye over there. Okay, slow and steady wins the race here. Intelligence, I did say. I think I am indeed going to go for intelligence. 4% refrigeration, looking pretty good. Yeah, when I came in here it was um, 9%, so I think getting intelligence and also going back and training spellcasting finally after so long have been influential in me being able to cast that. I, I find it pretty funny, like... Rock Slimes were not supposed to be so powerful. When they were implemented into the game, when they were introduced, the the comet mentions that they are supposed to be between the trash, like the slime creatures, 
and the really dangerous um, slime monsters, which in the comment are described as acid blobs and azure jellies. But in my opinion, rock slimes are the most dangerous slime monster. Um, and quicksilver, quicksilver slimes are... Um, they're uh, slightly above uh, the power level of, um, of a slime creature. But only slightly, like... They can anti-magic you and they can prevent you from, from casting spells or reading scrolls if they engulf you, but nah, nah. Like, um, they really don't hold a candle to rock slimes. That's how ridiculous rock slimes are. Okay, there we go. This is so much easier than... Uh, than sot, but I guess it's understandable. It's something that normally you would do before doing sot. Also, Kubo's autobiography. Uh, that book has refrigeration, but we do not care about um, about that anymore because I already got it. So my usual strategy in slime is to clear uh, as much as I can before fighting the royal jelly, so I don't get any awkward encounters with monsters. Uh, while I'm fighting the Royal Jelly. The Royal Jelly already regenerates enough monsters, and yet again the game proves to us that resistance to corrosion is nothing more than a placebo. Um, I understand getting corroded once, uh, getting corroded twice is very questionable, and getting corroded three times with resistance to corrosion... I don't know if I agree with that. Hmm... I think I should probably just tap the Azure Jelly. Yeah, I cannot drink potions, otherwise I would love to drink mana and maybe even haste. Uh, the Rock Slime is going to be very complicated to deal with. Um, so, haste? No, haste. Is it really necessary? Um, I think I should drink haste, just to run away from the rock slime. I think with haste I outrun it. Um, I also have 16 potions of haste, so why not? Okay. Uh, the worst mutation in the game, and subdued magic. Okay, normally I would wait until I get out of here to heal that, but I think I have to. Uh, subdued magic is kind of pretty bad when the, the main way to kill things that you have is casting spells. So... Uh, I still have Subdued Magic and Mutation Resistance. Lost Mutation Resistance, got Berserkitis. I don't want that. Berserkitis, but I have Regen and two Strengths. And not bad, we can deal with that. Yeah, my regen is now 3.45 per turn. Not terrible by any means. Ah, I lost, I lost my um, my regen. That's so sad, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not like I lost robust or anything, or worse. It's not like um, like I got a bad mutation or anything. On one hand, I am very glad that I got Refrigeration. I'm very glad that I decided to go for it instead of going for Ignition. I guess if I had tried to go for Ignition, I wouldn't even have it yet. Uh, I only just barely got Refrigeration. Uh, but on the other hand, I also kind of wish that I went for, for Orb of Destruction. Sometimes I see these um, Acid Blobs and and like um i can kill them don't misunderstand me but it, I f it feels kind of awkward to try to kill them um so brilliance refrigeration uh refrigeration refrigeration emulation refrigeration refrigeration uh-huh 
And I think that kills the royal jelly with an infernal noise, the power ruling this place vanishes. Very nice. Easy. Very easy, you know? Uh, that's why I wanted to have refrigeration. Refrigeration murders slime. Like, it, it makes it so easy, because all of these monsters, except for the Azure Jellies, are uh, vulnerable to it, and the Azure Jellies are so vulnerable to immolation. So, instead of torment immolation, maybe now it is refrigeration immolation. Yeah, that is also another reason why I decided to go for um, for refrigeration with this character instead of going for ignition. I kept exactly that in mind when I made that decision uh, to go for that spell. I should probably drop these scrolls of identify. Yeah, gotta pick up disable for scrolls of identify. Manual of Shields, I could have used that before. I guess I could go all the way up to a tower shield, but... Nah, something makes me think that that's not gonna be a real thing that I can do. Okay. Uh, I have Berserkitis. I think it's like a 1% chance to Zerk. I find it funny how it says you tend to lose your temper in combat. Um, that would mean, or like, if if you told me that, I would think, well, that means that you just berserk every fight, right? With 1% chance, you're not gonna be berserking every fight. Um, we are going to probably get rid of it, because I can. You have a considerably increased reservoir of magic. Okay, can't complain about that. But I'm still gonna drink a mutation. Uh, Shout Titus doesn't matter. Like, I don't care about it. It is Shout Titus too, so I wouldn't be surprised if I just shouted um, every time I saw, a uh, I saw a monster. But it's fine. I don't, I don't mind too much. If anything, it's better for me, because it reveals more monsters, and so I, c I get to use my mana more efficiently when I'm refrigerating. Hold on, I didn't do this in slime. Double Sword of Electrocution. Uh, on a different timeline, that would be a very nice weapon for my character, but I ended up going for a weird hybrid thing. Ooh, Dragon King Scales. What if I stop being a spellcaster? I can do that. I wonder if I can cast anything in Dragon King scales. But yeah, those are mad good. And they also allow me to take off my two rings. Like, not even joking, they allow me to take off my two rings. Because they give willpower and they give poison resistance. Oh, but wait, my current body armor allows me, or also gives me willpower. So they only give poison resistance. Um, and despite the fact that I have a million... Ah, never mind. No, no, no. I was about to say that I would also lose resistance to electricity, but I do uh, have it from the elemental staff. Huh. No, I don't think I can use Dragon King. I guess I can try it on. Okay, let's put it on. 45, 9, 15. 24% chance to miscast refrigeration. I guess having um, 25 strength kinda helps a bit. But only a bit, it's not even that much. Uh, I think the encumbrance rating for that is like 23 or something. Mm. Yeah, it is exactly 23. You remove this armor, your armor class would decrease by 26. Okay, so I can try putting on rings of strength, rings of intelligence, and rings of wizardry 
instead of the ring of poison resistance uh, that I'm not using anymore. Well, <laughs> that is a bit awkward then. I guess I could take off the hat, uh, but then I lose resistance to corrosion and regen. The pip of fire resistance doesn't care, doesn't matter to me because I get it from the Dragon King scales. Hmm. And I could replace that for um, my hat of intelligence. Yeah, let's let's uh, try to juggle some some rings and items just for a teeny tiny bit to see if we can make this have an easier time in sort. Um, Sixteen percent chance to miscast it with double wizardry in gold scales. Um, okay, random cave toad, cane toad appearing out of nowhere. Sixteen percent. It's it's is is it the same? And I get more spell power, right? Because intelligence increases the spell power. It is the same, and I get more spell power. So using double uh, wizardry is dumb. We should not do that. Hmm. Okay. Ring of Strength. Last but not least. 12% um, with Wizardry and Strength. So uh, Wizardry and Strength seems like the correct combination of things to, to use. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. So we're going to be dropping this most excellent plate. Uh, we used it for quite a while and it was quite amazing, but... It already um, has outgrown its usefulness, unfortunately. We can drop these three things. Um, we can go and find a better hat, because we are not going to be using um, this hat that gives me weakness to willpower. Forty-two, eleven, fifteen. I'm going to carry it around because it is a perfect example of an item that I consider to be almost good. I do not have resistance to corrosion now, but my defenses are amazing, obviously, and I can kind of cast refrigeration. It went all the way down to 10% because the hat that I'm currently using has a sprinkle of intelligence on it. Um, that seems perfectly usable. Maybe instead of training spellcasting now, I could train armor. And I think I would need also 18 conjurations if I wanted to use Orb of Destruction. Will I start a new character or call in a knight? I don't know. Uh, it's only been two hours since I started. Uh, I guess it depends on chat. If chat wants me to start a new character, I will start a new character. Otherwise, I think this will be it for the knight. Um, I also feel kind of rough right, because I didn't have the best uh, night of sleep yesterday. Start a cat? Nah, I wouldn't start a cat. I would start a mummy before I started a cat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I'm gonna put it. I would start a mummy before I started a cat. And chances are good that I will indeed start a mummy of Ashensari just to try to to get um, a good old mummy example. Maybe mommy ice elementalist. Mommy warper? No, not mommy warper. Um, the point of this um, stream is playing good and fun characters that um, not that don't make me hate the game. And uh, cats as a whole and mommy wonder or mommy warper would uh, kind of cause me to to hate the game a bit. So we are gonna avoid those. Probably forever, um, because 
Fortunately, I'm not aiming at winning every combo available in the game, no. Yeah, there's only been a handful of people who have done that. I think um, Sindra Gore did it uh, before Jean were added to the game. Jermak uh, has already done it. And probably there's someone else, but um, I don't know. The ones that I know for sure is Sindra Gore and, and Jermak. Mm. Okay, so I think this is not looking bad. Let's see what's the chance of getting hexed by um, by a leech. Oh, I don't want that. By a dread leech. 7% paralysis. I think we're going to have to make do with that. Um, I don't know. Going into the uh, end game to sort, this character doesn't feel terrible, but Orbs of Fire will be an issue because I don't have Orb of Destruction. Orbs of Fire will be an issue. Um, sort it is, I guess. I should probably quiver. Um, uh, where is it? Oh, I guess it's not on the quiver. Refrigeration, yeah. So yeah, casting a level 7 spell in the scales of the Dragon King, that has to be a non-common thing. <laughs> Yeah, Demigoth can kind of get away with doing that kind of wacky thing. Um, because of their massive strength and massive intelligence. Massive stats altogether. Okay, so the time of truth has come. Now we have to deal with an orb of fire. Uh, which is immune to pretty much everything, by the way. Immune to electricity, poison fire, negative energy, and torment, and resistant to cold. So... Uh, it also has a ton of armor class, so pretty much the elemental staff sucks as a melee weapon against it. Um, what I'm going to do is wield the autumn katana and use um, haste and might. I don't want a berserk because berserk is kind of dangerous. Um, yeah, autumn katana... Um, Resistance, because I also have a ton of them. Resistance, haste, uh, might, and pray that I don't get a ton of these guys in in Sot 5. Ooh, I got Teleportitis. It didn't really deal damage, but yeah, Teleportitis and minus 2 strength. The minus 2 strength also gave me 2% chance to miscast Refrigeration. So I'm going to try to get rid of it. Oh, well, that's the opposite of getting rid of it. Alrighty. Yay. Um, I already have the Urge of Scream. Um, because I did slime before that. Another orb of fire. That is quite unfortunate. I guess I can kill them with acid, but I kind of want to save up my acid for Sot 5 in case I get one of those uh, Sot 5s with like a million orbs of fire, as it has happened in recent times. Sometimes it also just misses. Truly unfortunate. It doesn't get corroded too. I think I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Haste, uh, Might. After all, I have a ton of potions of Haste and Might. Uh, I don't have that many resistances, but I do have... Um... I do have potions of resistance in, in a shop, two of them. So that's not terrible. Um... Now, oh, you are purple. 
Ooh, that's so bad, actually, because it can remove my buffs. That would be greatly annoying. I think I should just try to kill it with refrigeration before it does that. Yeah, it also has a nice side effect of dealing damage to the Orbo Fire. Oh, but the Electric Golem... Um... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was thinking that I didn't have the resistance to electricity, uh, but I drank a potion of resistance. So, okay. We just melted that Orb of Fire. Uh, amazing. Okay, 12 spell casting. Now, I want more armor skill. I guess it's gonna be 12 armor skill. Why not? Um... You know, golden dragons are resistant to electricity. So they they are resistant to electricity, poison, fire, and cold, but they don't give you the resistance to electricity when you use the scales. Who knows how that works? Because most other dragons uh, give you exactly the resistance that they have on the scales. Most of them, I guess, uh, shadow dragons do not. I think pearl dragons do, but let's make sure. Just out of curiosity. Uh, it is immune to negative energy, so it doesn't give you exactly the resistance, but it does give you something reminiscent to it. Mm. I think I can keep tabbing. Well, I have uh, resistance, I don't particularly care about the resistances that I may or may not have. Something that um, I consider to be weird is that I have such low armor class with such a high quality armor, like it's Dragon King. But I guess it's because I only have the armor skill. Then we got things. Um... I wonder why their aptitudes are so trash. I mean, sure, they compensate for that with the with the stats, but do they compensate for that enough? I I am not sure. After this character and all the crazy loot that I got, and I still ran into issues and so many monsters that were so dangerous, I'm not sure that they compensate for for that with their stats. Oh, demigod. With uh, amazing evasion, about 90% chance to dodge. Resistant to electricity, steam, cold, and acid. That sounds to me like this person used um, a potion of resistance before dying to make the ghost harder. Okie dokie, refrigeration doing exactly what it was supposed to do, just kill everything. Mm, I could also skip uh, half of Sot, but I... Something makes me think that it's not such a good idea to skip uh, half of Sot. Yeah, after all, the, being a demigod, like, the lack of experience is so noticeable. Um, look at that. Like, I did slime and I did bolt 5, and I am experience level 24. I've also cleared the first two levels of Sot. Um, cleared. Like, I killed everything. And I'm only experience level 24. Hmm... I guess I should go buy my book of um, Orb of Destruction to keep it as a as a goal. Yeah, by the way, we got that bolt. We are not doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's too much for, for this character. Um, too much for most characters. There's very little characters that would be able to deal with four... Or, uh, with four liches and um, and a player goes at the same time. 
and yeah I know that it looks back uh, that it looks bad 87% but um, when I got a refrigeration it also looked like that I only need 18 conjurations to make it usable I think I'm gonna go for it hmm Oh, elevator. Okay, that is a very nice thing to to know about. Oh, door bolt as well. I am not going to open it. Not with this character. We cannot um, we cannot do a door bolt with this character. This character is not powerful enough to to be able to do that kind of thing. Um, and you know that I. Um, but I enjoy that uh, kind of wacky thing with my characters, right? But not with this one. We cannot afford to do it. Ah, look at that. That looks like an awful vault. So we're not doing that. Yeah, that indeed looks like an awful vault if I have seen one. <laughs> Where's the last set of downstairs that I have yet to explore? Okay, there we go. This looks more reasonable. Should probably tree form. Should probably tree form. That is the reason why I'm carrying potions of three, precisely to deal with cursed toes. Immune to poison fire, negative energy, and torment. Okay, that sounds to me like Autumn Katana. There we go. Autumn Katana got rid of it very easily. I thought that the experience that I had put onto um, long blades was gonna go to waste when I when I got the elemental staff, but it it has been rather useful um, now that I think about it. Okay, so maybe I get Orb of Destruction castable. Maybe um, just gonna turn on Conjurations, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it is what it is. Oh, uh, Demigod lacks so many things. Um, but maybe I messed up, right? Because I did put a lot of experience into getting Refrigeration. Maybe the correct thing to do with this character was to just go hard on melee. Um, I mean, after all, I got pretty ni a pretty nice plate. And um, the character would have been so much better if... If instead of getting so much intelligence, I've had gotten maybe dexterity and strength instead. And I wouldn't have spells, but I would have the Arum Katana. I would have um, Sealot Sword. I would eventually get the Dragon Skin Armor, <laughs> which, um, yeah, I'm using it. But but yeah, I'm using it in a, in a much more complicated way. And I probably would have way more um, of the very few things that you need to to get a melee character going, right? Like I would have armor, I would have HP, or rather fighting skill. I would have uh, my weapon at minimum delay, and I would have um, shields and dodging. Yeah, I could have done that, but that um, is not what I ended up doing. So who knows, who knows? Something to, to keep in mind in the, uh, for the future. Sometimes the skilling is um, a very finicky thing to do. And of course, um, in retrospective, it is easier to say, oh yeah, maybe I should have done that, or maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but regardless, I feel like we are doing quite well with, uh, with what we ended up getting. So many Draconians. Ooh, Clouds of Negative Energy are pretty sweet. These guys, there's no Draconian that is resistant to them. 75% chance to miscast Torval Destruction. We're kind of getting there. Uh, I know how much I need to be able to cast it. It is nothing more and nothing less than uh, 18 in order to have it at 8%. So yeah, it would be funny if now that I decided to go for Dragon King Armor, I got my Cloak of Willpower or my Cloak of Poison Resistance. I would maybe go back to the plate <laughs> if I got those, not gonna lie. Um, 
I know that uh, it would make it easier for me to cast Refrigeration and Orb of Destruction with maybe the rings that I currently have. Um, so, Paralysis on the Death Cough. Firestorm and Shatter. Well, those would be sweet uh, with this character if I had uh, any plans to do a 15 rune game. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I have found that usually people um, jump into the stream and ask me if I'm going to do a 15 rune character. And then I do like one or two of them and no one asks me to do them or no or like uh mm. oh there it is yeah clock of willpower um finally cloak of willpower okay we can put it on and i i am i will put it on but i now i don't know if i should replace the scales of the dragon king with uh with my old older plate Maybe I should do it. Maybe. Hmm. At the very least, I can replace my hat of intelligence with the older hat that I have that gives me resistance to corrosion and regen. Yeah, that doesn't sound terrible. It also gives me fire resistance, which is very sweet uh, for dealing with orbs of fire when I have to unwield the elemental staff yeah yeah that doesn't sound bad at all I do wish I had Bane for for all these guys uh, they're not white draconians or at least only one of them is white I think no none of them are so I can just refrigerate them and that kills them super fast a cloak of willpower finally a cloak of willpower. That's uh, such a nice thing to have. Okay, now that I have that, uh, enchant armor. Okay, I cannot grab that one. Enchant that. Hat. Ah, I have it in my inventory, so we can wear this. Okay, 47 armor class. Um... And one peep on every resistance, not bad. I do lose 1% chance to succeed on refrigeration, but I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Um, just out of curiosity, I'm going to go and, check and pick up my plate. Uh, maybe try it on and try to see if I can have uh, Orb of Destruction, because I do need something to deal with Orbs of Fire. Well, with that, it's only 30% with my current loadout, so I can get it castable at like probably 15, uh, 16 conjurations, maybe. I won't need to go all the way up to 18 if I want to have that. Huh. Mm. Gonna keep it in mind. Gonna keep it in mind. It also makes um, refrigeration way more castable, right? Let me take a look at how my defenses look like with that. Mm. Well, I am using the Autumn Katana. With the Elemental Staff, uh, I, I still do not have Poison Resistance. Yeah, that's the issue, that I do not have poison resistance. No, I think I'm okay with Dragon King. Should probably not fiddle with that too much and just like stick with what I already have and, and works. The elemental staff doesn't do poison damage, or does it? I I, I have no idea. I think it does uh, freeze, fire, um, earth damage. I think it enhances um, poison. No, it, I don't know if it enhances poison, but I think it enhances air, ice, fire, uh, conjurations, um, earth magic as well. I don't know what else it enhances. Does it tell you? Ah, the leader of the Guild of Five Elements. 
well, five elements. Um, oh, offensive enhancements from all the elemental schools of magic. Who knows? Maybe... Oh, it enhances your fire, ice, earth, and air magic. I thought that it also enhanced conjurations, but I guess it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Oh, this is SOT 5. Am I done with, with SOT 4? I think I might be done with SOT 4. I am. Okay. Something makes me think that we're not reaching Orb of Destruction, at least not with that. Hmm, 26% is also still not uh, what I would consider reaching it, so I think I'm just going to stick with Dragon King. Yeah, with Dragon King I have two pips of Fire and Cold Resistance, so I don't feel like I need to... Um, to use, um, what is it called? Resistance, yeah, Potion of Resistance to, to deal with uh, Orbs of Fire, but I, I'm going to need it for Electric Golems. Yeah, you know, it hasn't been terrible. It could be way worse. Alrighty, one more. Yeah, even though White Draconians are resistant to um, to refrigeration, they still take a decent chunk of damage. Okay, gonna use attraction here. Get over here, Kirsto. Gonna poke you. Yeah, it is important to do that because I don't want the curse though to to just like surround me with fungi and then I wouldn't be able to hurt it while it sits over there waiting for my three form to wear off. I am very glad that I didn't drop those potions of three. I pretty much always drop them, but uh, this time not dropping them was obviously the correct thing to do. Hmm, I got marked. Well, that is not so terrible, actually. I'm okay with being marked. Okie dokie. This doesn't look so bad, but I can make it look way better. Okay. I cannot drink potions. Now I can. So I'm gonna drink Might and Haste. Not gonna drink Brilliance. Um... I will drink Brilliance if I feel the desire to cast spells, but against these Orb Guardians, we can just tap them. Uh, paralysis. I feel like this character is forcing me to do all those things that I can do, but I don't usually do all of them. Mm. Silence? Silence. 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 It could be. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to get crystal speared. No, especially not while well marked. Like that would be pretty bad. Okay, I'm fast. I'm, I'm mighty. Uh, let's shoot the orb of fire with acid. Strange energy scurs through your body. Nothing bad happens to me. It got corroded. Two orbs of fire, well, that is not good at all. Yeah, that's the... Like, um, normally I... Well, actually, I never want to see orbs of fire, right? But I kind of am okay with them. Uh, with this character, I have issues killing them. I have mentioned it before. And uh, the game just decided to throw a bunch of orbs of fire at me this time around. I'm not liking it. I'm gonna use resistance because I am taking damage from these guys. Ooh, the worst mut well, probably the second worst mutation in the game. I need to get rid of that. If I get uh, teleported right now, it would be messed up levels of that. Mm. Gonna haste again. They don't get corroded. I have 15 evocations as well. It's not like I have trash evocations. 
just um, that I'm not doing so well. Yeah, the worst mutation in the game. Okay, that's really a bad combo to have. Um, if I get teleported and I have to um, to read blinking or something, I'm not liking that. Uh, let's read the second silence here to not get crystal speared and die. I feel like I need to leave the level. Gonna try to kill these guys before I leave the level, however. I'm not mighty anymore. I wanna continue being mighty. Okay, get over here. You're not silenced. I guess that's fine because you... Uh, well, I'm gonna get paralyzed and die if I don't do this. So many liches. I am a bit surprised, I'm not gonna lie. I think I should just make a run for it. I am going to make a run for it. I like the the mark strategy, um, but I don't think this character can afford to. By the way, I got lucky with resistance a 6% paralyzed there. Lucky that it didn't affect me. I don't know. Um, I don't like the fact that you can still get hexed. Um, I feel like willpower should reduce the intensity of the hex instead of uh, just making it a random chance of you getting destroyed, uh, even if you have the resistance. Looking good. I haven't gotten crystal spirit. If I have, if I don't get crystal spears, I feel like it's going well. <laughs> that's that's just how it is. Alrighty. Mm, two killer clowns. Let's fridge them. That's what I wanted to see, by the way. A lot of killer clowns. Normally, um, I feel like there's some times where I get where I get a lot of them. But yeah, um, the way that SOT works is that it's uh, randomized um, a certain amount of very high level enemies between Killer Clowns, um, Orbs of SOT, and the Liches. Mm. So this time I just happened to get a bunch of Orbs of Fire and not enough Killer Clowns, which is what I wanted to see, uh, a bunch of Killer Clowns. I would have been way happier with like um, 10 Killer Clowns before the amount of orbs of fire and leeches that we got this game. Okay, just get rid of the killer clown. Mm, alrighty. I am petrifying. Well, that was um, quite worrisome. I guess that's the way to, to describe that. Quite worrisome indeed. Hmm. By the way, the chance for that to happen was 6%. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't have any more uh, cancellation on me. Uh, so I tried to go upstairs, but I wasn't fast enough. Hmm. Well, that's kind of not good. Yeah, I don't want to deal with so many liches at the same time. Holy Word? I should probably do Holy Word. Okay, now the liches are dazed. Um, I don't want to fridge here because it would remove my ability to drink potions. And I kind of want to drink haste and might and everything. Maybe also brilliance so I can go crazy on the refrigeration. It doesn't do a lot to the liches because the liches are very resistant to cold. So maybe um, holy word again. They, uh, well, they really hurt. 
they're really hurt, but they didn't get killed by Holy Ward. I feel like it doesn't deal that much damage, but I guess that I guess it's not uh, supposed to. As it gets rid of them, perfect. 15 conjurations, orb of destruction at 28. I think if I went back to plate, I would be able to cast um, orb of destruction. Hmm. Gonna uh, drink brilliance and resistance. The clown pie hits you but does no damage. I got lucky. Imagine if they could paralyze with the pie. That would be the worst thing in the game. I knew it was a matter of time because I didn't get rid of those mutations. And I lost everything except the one mutation that I did want to lose. There's no teleport traps in, in sight. Uh, I am really close to the orb. I'm really close to the orb, and uh, because I got marked, pretty much every every like really bad monster that was in here uh, is no longer here. So we should be fine. Pogu, invisibility, so I don't get drained by the ghost mod. Okay, the <laughs> that's such a big brain strategy now that I think about it. Like, um, get marked and pull all of the leeches and orbs of fire and killer clowns away, and then wait for teleportitis to trigger to to just go in and and freely and easily ninja the orb. Like at this point, it's not even what I would consider to to be a ninja of the orb. Just like walk it in and picking up the orb. This is so funny. Uh, I could do it, but I'm not gonna do it. I wanna, I want to kill everything, even on a character that that has a hard time killing everything. I feel more uh, comfortable killing everything than doing a, a good old ninja. Ah, I got teleported out. Mm, that's fine. I think I can kill this draconian and just like make a run for the stairs. Try to buy those potions of mutation. Um. Immune to fire. Hmm. Orb of Destruction is probably going to kill that guy really well. I can already cast it if I go back to the plate. And you don't have anything really other than Mana Viper. If you cast Mana Vipers, I can kill them easily with uh, Refrigeration. So open the door. Blink away. Refrigeration. Summoned again. There we go. It got super hurt by that. Aha! That was the correct thing to do. Alrighty. I didn't even need to do that, but I figured that I uh, was powerful enough to kill that guy. I got frail and. Um, Hidden genetic potential. Do I want to have frail? I don't know. I feel like I want HP. Let's go get rid of frail. Oh, I don't. I cannot get that one. Mm, I don't like um, the form body. All right, all right. Hopefully it stays like that. Um, by the way, I want to read the description of this. You cannot, will not, and will never worship any god. Okay. You have an increased reservoir magic. Uh, sure. Your attributes grow dramatically as you level up. I guess that's very self-explanatory. Mm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, 
Isn't it funny to press the, um, the drink potions button after spending like 10 turns casting refrigeration? It's like, um, I just get so used to, to drinking invisibility to get rid of ghost mods. Um, yeah, I was wondering about the liches and why they were still here if I used... Uh, Two scrolls of holy word on them but um i guess i did not um finish them off um because i got teleported away by the way my refrigeration is at 19 percent chance to miscast because of these uh, killer clowns and their stats. Now it's 28%. Well, that is um, pretty bad. Huh, the golden dragon died from that? The golden dragon was less hurt than the killer clown. And the Golden Dragon resists it, the Killer Clown doesn't. Weird. I think I just got a very good damage roll against the Golden Dragon, and quite probably a very bad roll against the Killer Clown. Oh yeah, I wish I could cast spells, but I guess I'm gonna go back to the Autumn Katana and be the melee character that I was always destined to be uh, for the final um, stretch of this character. If I get turned into something by a clown pie, I would be mildly aggravated um that could that has a very real chance of killing me with this character because i don't have potions of cancellation hmm. i could buy those i should buy those bad form yep i hope that it doesn't happen at least not before i get out of here and buy those uh, potions Every time I get by, it's like so dangerous. Um, well, that is about the worst thing that could happen. Am I dead? I am not dead. But yeah, oh, ho, 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 ho. I am in bad form, and I cannot do that in my present form. I wish I could cast. I just need to kill this guy uh, with um, tox with ignite poison, but I can't cast. Can I at least evoke? I it's looking like I can. Okay, there we go. You're bad. You're tiny and dexterous. You move quickly. You're flying. Your equipment is almost entirely melded. You're incapable of wielding weapons or throwing items. You cannot cast spells. I don't know. I feel like a like a bat would be able to cast a spell, um, but the game disagrees with me. But yeah, that was literally the worst combination of things that could happen. Uh, getting paralyzed by salt trap and then immediately bat formed by a killer clown. The only reason why I didn't die there it was because it was probably a short paralysis, three turns. Well, that, and uh, there was only one monster fighting me, which was a killer clown. If there had been one more monster, like a single orb guardian, I was dead. I was so dead there. From full HP to... Uh, that's why you don't fight in the general vicinity of a, of a sod trap, because of, because of that kind of thing. So many round trips around the dungeon. I keep getting in and getting out of the dungeon, buying uh, random potions that may be useful to me. Okay, we got uh, all that I wanted to get. It's not looking bad. 
So let's go to sort five. Hmm. It seems that we might be over. Yeah, we we might be done. Uh, golden dragons. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I thought that I didn't have the resistance to to poison, but I do. Um, I do not need it. Well, I guess I have it. That's what I meant. Um, might because we cannot underestimate killer clowns. And um, haste. It's characters like these that make me oh so heavily miss um, the good old days where potions of um, of evasion existed. Potions of agility. That's what they were called. So yeah, I need to get rid of that electric golem. I don't want to do that because it could hurt my ally. So I'm just going to get rid of the golden dragon instead. You miscast orbital destruction. You miscast orbital destruction two times in a row at 21% chance to miscast. Okay, get a cast and now watch the electric golem jump away from the orbital destruction. It's going to happen any second now. Oh, it didn't happen. Okay. Can't complain about that. Trying to cast a spell, like, uh, as I mentioned before, monster success rates and player success rates, like, they feel completely, completely different. Like, uh, monsters very clearly cheat and players don't. That's kind of how it feels sometimes. Um, I have a 20% chance to miscast, and I miscast it, like, three times in the fight. And... Um, Earlier in this stream, the Bolt Sentinel was hexing me with 20% chance to hex me pretty much every time. Feels kind of bad. Sot trap, right? Yeah, don't step on it, please. Hmm. Wait. Um... Oh, okay, there's two green Draconians. I guess I can Toxic Radiance, Toxic Radiance, maybe step away from the Sot Trap. Mm, didn't kill all of these guys, unfortunately. Wow, I feel like this character is just... Normally, I don't have these char characters that are this weak, yeah, and it's so it's so strange to me. Like, how can a character with 47 armor class and refrigeration be a weak character? But I guess I don't have refrigeration. If I had it, it would be way easier for me to deal with all these guys. Should probably file a flood stem. Mm. Um, I guess it is what it is. I went for Acid, 4 dice of 13 against an almost dead monster that doesn't resist Acid and it didn't kill it. I feel like I got rather unlucky there. Hopefully all of them are dead. Yeah, the fact that I got Pi and I lost Intelligence and Strength was so bad. I think I should probably just get out of here and... Um... Yeah, I got Pi again. Oh, I am getting kind of tired of, of these Pies. I guess let's wear that instead. Yeah, at least that allows me to cast that, but I wanted to cast in Dragon's King. The Killer Clown uh, kind of very rudely prevented me from doing it. But at least I now can enact my revenge on all these Killer Clowns and everyone by Orb of Destructing them, or destroying them with Orb of Destruction, I should say. 
Mm. All right. All righty. Let's pick up the orb and just get out of here. All righty. A fire band. It is pretty nice to see fire bands with Osakubu's refrigeration. And I'm glad that there's no equivalent ice band uh, that can generate in this game. Another fire band. Do I have digging? I never found it. Nope, never found digging. Mm, I also never found out what was on the other side of that bolt, but I don't particularly care. By the way, this has been a very straightforward and fast orb run. I'm already on D11. That was pretty quick. Mm. Okay, I'm fine as long as there's no Seraph. Uh, pearl scales, resistant, not resistant to cold. I could do some shenanigans. Um, brilliance, haste, fridge, 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 fridge. Mm, okay, not bad. You killed a seraph. Oh man, that's awesome. Do you have cold resistance or something? I wouldn't be surprised if the Deva had it, by the way. Because um, it outlasted the Seraph. Okay, let me pick up the Demon Blade as a trophy and also the Pearl Scales as a trophy. D0. Please get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Yeah, I think the character was made kind of worse by using the Dragon King scales. Uh, funnily enough, I thought that uh, um, the character would be stronger, but it was actually the opposite effect. I feel like I'm doing better without the Dragon King scales now that I took them off. I'm gonna go back to wearing them. Alrighty. So that was rather painful, not gonna lie. I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't know if I just got unlucky or uh, or if it's the demigods actual like power level but the first half was so good and then by the end of last stream i was not doing so hot anymore and then like i feel like all of this stream except for the start when i did shows was kind of pretty rough like 80,000 turns in a 3 runer game because I was running around buying potions all over the place. 7 hours, I guess that's a standard for my spellcasters. Yeah, it was going fast, but uh, but it slowed down a lot uh, by the end. Twitch. OTB slash 9 settler. Okie dokie. Mm. So, 47 armor class. Like, this has to be the worst character I've ever played with 47 armor class. That's the only way to put it. Uh, I have no idea how that happened. But it happened, so here we are. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel so conflicted about this character. Ending notes of this character... I am so confused. That's the only way to put it. I am so confused. I, I insist. This is the worst character that I've had with three pipes, uh, with three pips of fire resistance, three pips of cold resistance, 47 armor class, a shield. Dude, it's so good in paper, but it's so... In practice, it was not that good. Like, I don't get it. Every fight, it was like a struggle for my life with this character. I at least I could kill things, um, especially once I got refrigeration and then orb of destruction. But when I was running around with the level four spells, it was kind of rough. Um, weird. 
Let's just uh, get out uh, and make it official. I think that's a streak of two. I know that I struggled. <laughs> yep. Um, 